I'm talking about the Revere Magazine 16 movie camera. Quick guide on how to get started with this. This is a 16 millimeter film movie camera. This takes what's known as Magazine 16 film. I'm gonna stick the camera, oh. look at that. In this compartment is uh, <laughs> what is known as a 16 millimeter magazine. The only place to get a 16 millimeter magazine new with fresh film is, well, here at the Film Photography Project. We take vintage magazines and we reload them with fresh double perforated 16 millimeter film. How awesome. A magazine holds 50 feet of film, which at 16 frames per second is about two, two and a half minutes. And the way it works is the film's in here. And when you put it into your camera, it pushes back this lever here and exposes, do you see that? Mm. There's your film. And that goes into the film gate on the camera. And on this particular camera, the Revere Magazine 16, got your film gate in there. There's a gear there that where your magazine sits on to turn the film. So it's all quite simple and it all works quite well. So what we're gonna do is take this magazine. Here is your footage indicator, which is very, very accurate. It starts at about between 40 and 50, 50 feet. And then when you're done, it will say EXP exposed. And the unique thing about these cameras, I'm gonna show you, so here's the window. We put our film into the camera. Oh. And then we close the door, make sure everything's like, you don't wanna force anything. These cameras are all very old, so you have to make sure it's sitting properly on your gear. Uh oh. 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 Reseal it. Open, close. And now that window is now shining through this window. You can't see it too well, but no. you know, when you're actually when you have an actual camera in your hand, you can see it. Look, footage. I see it. it it'll start at 50. When you're done, it'll say EXP. Here's your exposure guide. This tells you what f-stop to set for your film, and this is what you need to do to that. Take your tape. Just forget about it. You need you need to forget about it. It's it's completely inaccurate. For example, it's saying blazing sunlight, f8. Now, John, you and I were just outside shooting with mm -hmm. this camera, and we we're at f16 in daylight, and mm -hmm. the sun wasn't even Very blazing. Cloudy. Yeah. So, this uh, guide is for film from the 20th century that had a much lower ISO, like ISO 10, ISO 25. So this is going to steer you wrong and it's going to uh, overexpose your film. So that's why I say, just do this. You'll be effed. Yes. <laughs> so what do you do? We'll talk about that in a second. Here is your lens. Uh, this particular camera has a 25 millimeter lens on it. You see this little, the little red line? Mm -hmm. That's what you use to set. That's how you know to set your f-stop. So you, this opens up all the way to f2.7, closes all the way down to f16. Not the fastest lens in the world. Uh, better lenses open to 1.9, and better lenses will close down to f22, giving you more versatility. This particular lens is no focusing involved. You just set your f-stop and shoot. Here is your eyepiece. You're not looking through your lens. It's just an eyepiece. You need to set this. It says, one inch. What does that mean? Exactly. So it says one inch, but you have a 25 millimeter lens. So you need to do the conversion in your in your smartphone. Uh, inches to millimeters. If you type in one inch, uh, 25 millimeters is going to come up and in or around that number. If you have a telephoto lens, then you need to turn this to two inch. Let's say at a wide angle, a 17 millimeter lens. You would turn this to 17 millimeter. Strangely enough, there's no inches. It says 17 millimeters. Why is that? I don't know. It's weird. It is weird. Don't let it bother you. <laughs> set it set it to one inch. You're great. Your eyepiece is ready. You look through the eyepiece to get your shot. Okay. This camera takes no batteries whatsoever. It is a wound, spring wound camera. Look at this beautiful full leather. Mm. You wind it's it. It's a very nice presentation of camera. It is. It's a nice piece. Oh, like, do you hear that? Busted it. Now, that's very important because this camera is very old, and although it works, here's your shutter, and it sounds pretty good. When I was winding it, I would notice that the, the spring would slip occasionally. Uh. That's telling me that potentially uh, down the road, there could be a problem where the, the spring motor just goes bust. <laughs> Having said that, you should not spend a lot of money for this camera. 
seriously, folks, do not spend like more than $25, if that, for this particular camera. Number one, magazines are only available at the Film Photography Project. That's a good thing. Number two, but but it does limit you. You can't walk into a store and buy a 16 millimeter magazine. Uh, shooter beware on eBay. You may see a Kodachrome 16 millimeter magazines. Processing ended in 2010, so I don't recommend that because you will not find a lab that can process it. And if you did find a lab that could process it, they're going to charge you a lot of money and it'll only be black and white and it may not come out anyway because the film is so old. Because the film is so old. So you wind your camera till it feels tight. Here is your shutter button. This dial here is your frames per second. And you want to set that to 16. 16 frames per second is what you need to know. Here's your exposure counter. It starts at 50. When it's at EXP, you're done shooting. It's about two and a half minutes. The only thing we need to know is how do we set our f-stop don't be tricked by all these it says hazy bright because it's not going to give you a proper exposure you need a light meter app handheld light meter or light meter app and what you need to know in the by the way they're either free or only cost a few dollars so get it it's a reflective light meter app there's a few videos online of how to use what you need to know for your light meter app is the shutter speed which is consistent here at 16 frames per second you have 1 30th of a second shutter speed. It, it's set. It will not change. Your ISO of your film, you'll need to know that. Uh, ISO 40 film is recommended in daylight. And then when you take your reading, it will give you the suggested f-stop to use on your camera. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you're, if you're flabbergasted and you're like, what? Then you take your 40 ISO film you go into daylight, you just set it for f16, and that's the end of it. If you if you have a lens that goes to f22, go to f22. In a nutshell, that's it. That's all you need to know for this camera. They were made to be very uh, easy to use, and it's unfortunate that film speeds aren't the same as they used to be back in the 1960s, because if they were, you'd be able to use this handy-dandy guide on the side, which we can't. Michael at filmphotographyproject.com. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the Revere Magazine 16. If you snoop around and you're like uh, grandparents, uncle, great uncle, great aunt's house, you may find one of these because they're plentiful here in the U.S. See you soon.